Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Julie, and um, we're going to read a little time for myself. The date is October 17th. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to all the Libras. One in particular. Love you. And all right, we'll get started. Myself all settled in. All right. This is one of the books I've been reading. Very cool. Got it as a gift. And you can see that my cat has been reading it too. Like this little bite. So I don't know if I'll read that one next, maybe, or read parts of it to you, or I'll just talk about it in the coming months. Anyhow, let's get started. Page 291. And also, welcome. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I come on here and read every day. I'm an artist, painter, and a... Um, interior stylist as well um the present moment i'm my i'm working as a um a, a stylist in store basically i help people find um find stuff and have fun shopping <laughs> that's about what i do you know that's why else do you go shopping i was just talking about that the other day i'm like we don't really need anything. Like you have enough sheets, you have enough, unless you're going to be just moving into a new house and you've never had the things, you know, like when people go to college or, you know, move and get married, you know, they're creating a home. But otherwise, it's more so that you can have a feeling that is like you're getting out of the house, you get to get dressed, and maybe run into other people get the shop like with the world around you of shopping rather than um, just on your phone or on your computer. And then interactions are important. So I'm really grateful to have those interactions with people who come in. Sometimes they don't know how to use their computer phone or they just wanna say hello. So I always like say, it's really good to see you today. And I've seen how that switches the script a bit to where they're like, thanks, you too. Where before I would just say, how are you today? Maybe like, okay, we're, I'm good. And you, I'm like, good, thank you. And it would just kind of stop there. Like there wasn't any feeling within that, but I'm grateful to see you today. Nice seeing you today. Then it's just like you're good. I don't know. There's a different vibe with that. I don't know. Just an observation, my daily day. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Reading. Here we go. I was always trying to change my alcoholic partner into the perfect partner. Always trying to change them. I thought if they were perfect, then it would mean that I was a good person. I was a good partner because that's my contribution, right? In my mind, I had to earn love. I was never good enough, never worthy enough on my own. Realizations come up with by doing the steps, right? So al helped me see otherwise. Yes. At one of the first meetings that I worked with, um, I read the suggested closing, which is part of the Al Anon trip, right? We have these little pamphlets and we read these closings open. And it says, these are the words. It says, though you may not like all of us, you'll love us in a very special way, the same way we already love you. I burst into tears when I heard that. 
that feeling like though you may not like all of us you'll love us in a very special way the same way we already love you I burst into tears I feel it in my heart it was the first time I could remember feeling unconditional love having it acknowledged in spoken word today's reminder in Al-Anon which is this recovering group, the 12 step group. I am learning how to receive unconditional love and how to give it back. The more my group showed love and respect for me, the more I was able to love myself, then I could begin to help others into self-love. What a wonderful way of passing it on. And that's from one of the books, Hope for Today. That's one of the other books. That's, there's like quotes within quotes of books. So Hope for Today is one of the books I have read on this channel all the way through. So take a look. So um, I just want to say again, um, thank you to those who, who um, contribute basically by liking and sharing, commenting joining these joiners gets extra hugs thank you it it shows me that like we're connecting so in a special way so the um the question of the day is in what ways does loving myself help me to love others that's really like an overall theme with recovery in al-anon is to first and foremost learn how to slow down and be in the present moment to take little bits and one day at a time it um learn how to perceive and change our perceptions learn how to do that with other people who are doing it too so we're all together and there's no judgment we can be from all walks of life as we are and um come together for common cause of um, being in recovery uh, for those who are affected by others who have been drinking uh, their lives and their lives and, and um, having that um, some abuse within that, whatever that looks like. So um, I wanted to also read something that was real, that really struck me um, and it just came from one of these um, reels. And it was like, of the best mental health tips you'll ever hear is that if you, right? If you feel like um, you hate everyone, then you should eat. So like when they say, um, don't make decisions when you're hungry, angry, um, if you have to go to the bathroom, like things like that, you just have to take, so it's about like, take care of yourself, calm yourself down, regulate yourself. So, and like, if you like, so like, if you feel like you hate everyone, maybe you just need to go and take care of yourself and eat something. Right. And if you feel everyone like hates you, then you need to sleep. And if you feel like you hate yourself, then take a shower. If you <laughs> feel overwhelmed with your thoughts, then write them down. And that's really important to do, to get them out. And if you feel stuck in the past, plan for the future. And if you feel anxious about the future, focus on the present, which is always a redirect to be present so I think reading and writing um, keeps you present um, breathing walking in nature grounds us because we're aware of our surroundings being aware of our surroundings helps us to listen and these all encapsulate being present because that's where the serenity and the joy of life 
are located. And, um, and if you feel restless, take a long walk you know, to get all that energy that's wrestling up. And if you know, I feel like giving up, don't give up. All right, so serenity prayer time. God, grant us serenity to accept things that we can't change, to have courage to change things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. So God's will not mind be done. So keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it, and I love you. You're loved. You're absolutely loved, and it's okay not to be okay. You know, Just get through this day. Be kind. Start with being kind to yourself. Love you.